Steven, Steven and Carolyn, this is really wild. Take a look behind me. This is the Von Mar store where the shoplifting allegedly took place, and it wasn't long before this turned into an all-out high-speed pursuit on the highway. Take a close look at the silver-colored Dodge Journey barreling down the road at high speeds. Police say the guy behind the wheel in his early 20s had just boosted some men's briefs and other stuff only minutes before. That a subject had stolen three pairs of boots from Von Mauer and a pair of underwear, and they were wrestling with him outside Von Mauer. When cops were called out to Six Mile in Newburgh, he allegedly dropped the boots and took off southbound on Newburgh. A police pursuit went through westbound Schoolcraft where he ran a red light and eventually got onto eastbound 96 at roughly 90 miles an hour. The chase was then called off, police tracking him down by license plate instead. We figured out whose car it was, they told us who the driver was, and we subsequently took him into custody. Brian King is now charged with fleeing and eluding, retail fraud, and driving on a suspended license. This footage taken Friday, January 27th, just after 2 p.m., after the incident at Laurel Park Mall, sure to be crucial evidence in court. The suspected thief is being held on $50,000 bond. We've also learned he is due to appear in front of a judge on March 9th. Live in Livonia, Simon Chaykat, 7 Action News. Carolyn, back to you. So, Simon, what kind of jail time could this uh, suspected underwear thief be facing at this point? That's something we looked into at least a couple of years, Carolyn. Keep in mind, when we checked into his records, we found out this is not the first time he has been caught driving on a suspended license. All right, thank you so much, Simon, for the live report. Justin.